I explain what a Herxheimer reaction is on my website because I think it's important for people um, embarking on any type of a cleansing process or a detoxification process or anyone struggling with things like cancer or Lyme disease or other infections to really understand what a Herxheimer reaction is. When Kevin and I were going through all of our Lyme treatments, which were all natural modalities that we used, like I was getting infusions all the time, I was doing Rife at the time, I was doing uh, infrared saunas, I was using light panels with blue and red light. Um, this was all, of course, before we found the Photon Genius and the Genie. Uh, you know, we were doing ozone, we were doing tons tons like 40 maybe 40 or 50 different herbs to get rid of the infection we were juicing and remediating the house with things like the blue shield let me rephrase that because the blue shield does not eliminate any non-native emfs instead what it does is it it basically creates what are scalar waves okay i had to stop it here because this next little bit is going to go on a bit of a tangent but we do need this in order to understand what scalar waves really are and not only that but how the machine works so here's a little history lesson and scalar waves have been very controversial for many many years if people are interested in reading more about that you probably want to start with james clerk maxwell's work and move your way up to nikola tesla's work because these are things that they were even tesla was made out to look like a crazy when he started discussing this and how things like scalar waves and electromedicine which is basically he's kind of one of the godfathers that kind of developed all of this stuff along with a few others before him but of course in the end nikola tesla was made out to look like a quack and even to this day his his name is not really mentioned in most of our history books even though he was one of the greatest minds to ever exist and to be honest almost the entire electrical grid that we use today and 200 different inventions that we use when it comes to technology is based off of tesla's work however everybody thinks it was somebody else like even the light bulb everybody believes edison created the light bulb edison didn't really create the light bulb he was really famous for capitalizing off on other people's ideas and patenting them and kind of making a killing off of it and making it look like you know i mean he took the information and made it come to its fruition but it wasn't necessarily his idea so and i only mentioned that because there was a movie that was just released and kevin and i watched it in florida and um and they talk very little about tesla and it's more about edison and a few others and to be honest i think the star of the, sh the movie should have been tesla However, a lot of people also argue that the reason why we have all these EMFs to this day is because of Tesla's inventions and I think people are very misguided. Does this stuff exist because of his information and others like him? Yes, but I think people took his information as people continue to do, like people like Elon Musk creating these cars called Tesla, which uh, I don't even want to get into it because if Tesla was alive, he'd be rolling over in his grave right now if he knew that they were putting his name to those cars because they give off high amount in EMF and in the end, Tesla was very spiritual and he knew that if this stuff got into the wrong hands, that we would create, ultimately create what we've created here on this planet and that's to, um, again, get it. You, you guys need to look into the story behind him. You know, Tesla was all about, you know, kind of giving energy and electricity to the world for free and also for our own personal benefit he was more about finding frequencies that would harmonize with the human body and help the human body and of course people took his information and created almost what i would call weaponry in in a nutshell that's kind of what this is in a way um or it's just this stuff was brought to the market out of greed because people knew that they could they could and would capitalize off of it
So again, getting off topic, but I wanted you guys to kind of be filled in on that a little bit because a lot of the stuff that we're into now is derived about around what he really wanted to bring to the world, which is kind of how uh, we got into the photon genie and the genius because Ed Skilling, the man that created both of our um, machines, was very influenced by Tesla's work and people like Reif and people like Lukoski and all these other people, these great minds that realized that if you could um, hit certain frequencies using sound waves or other types of devices that used, in most cases it's sound waves, um, or some people are using electrical waves now through PEMF therapy and that's a different subject altogether and Kevin and I will get into that at a later date, but they believe that you could ultimately, kind of like the opera singer, when she sings the high note, she can smash glass. <laughs> their ideas were that if you hit a specific frequency you could literally destroy pathogens within the body and this has been proven over and over again with um, rife technology and the effects that people were getting from uh, devices like that actually ed skilling himself started to really get into this not only because he was an engineer this was his passion but his daughter died from cancer so he really wanted to get to the bottom of this and the reason why probably a lot of people don't know or hear about ed skilling even though he has won numerous Nobel prizes for his information and he was actually hired in by the I will post it down below or across the screen, but the Cancer Institute, one of the Cancer Institutes originally back in the 50s, I think 1959 or something like that, hired him in because they wanted to know why Rife was working for some cancer patients. So they basically hired him in to take it all apart and tell them how it was working. And you know, unfortunately that didn't go anywhere obviously because after that is when we developed things like chemotherapy and radiation. So they basically found out how this was working and realized that there wasn't a lot of money to be made in that. So um, it kind of got buried as all of this information and all of these technologies have been buried now for over a hundred years. A lot of people think that all the stuff that we're seeing today in the way of PEMF therapy um, and bioresonance and frequency therapies and all that, a lot of people are like, oh, new breakthroughs, but none of this is new. It's been around for a hundred years and the people who really developed it, really have been made out to look like they were completely insane, which is why this stuff got buried. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can, you, you'll realize for obvious reasons, because if this stuff got out, it didn't, it wouldn't make, like, you know, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industries and stuff like that, they wouldn't make a lot of money off of it. Um, or they didn't know how to capitalize off of it at the time, which I'm sure we will see them starting to capitalize off of it. Now, as we're seeing people capitalize off of things like like uh, you know, uh, the telecommunications industry is using things like 5G, even though we know that those frequencies are very detrimental to human health, um, and people using electric cars and all this stuff and blah 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 blah. So anyway, that's really deep, and this video, like I said, is going to be very long, so I'll just cut it off there because Kevin and I will get into all of this stuff, whether it be in videos or in our blogs. Which brings me to my next point. We do want to get into blogging a little bit more. So if you're interested in that, the way that you guys can sign up to that is, I again, I'll post that down below or in the description down below, and that will link you directly to the page where you can subscribe um, to our blog and sign up for our mailing list. The reason why you guys would want to do that is because I will be regularly blogging there, and Kevin will be blogging more so on his website, which is Energy Alignment Solutions. We, also, we own two companies. We own now the branding of the Healing Hands Duo, and we own another company by the name of Energy Alignment Solutions. We don't officially, we don't officially have the website for that up and running. Well, like we have the website up and running. It's a Wix site right now. We don't have a domain for that yet. So the best way to find Kevin is to go through his Facebook page, which is Energy Alignment Solutions, and like that page and then that way he will post to his new blogs there 
because it's difficult to find the website when it hasn't been attached to a domain. So that's the way that you can find him and his blogs. Kevin is going to be getting into the, the deeper science of how EMFs work and the deeper science of things like structured water. If you haven't noticed already, he has already got three blog posts up. I have like four or five. He's got three blog posts up and they are very, they go into extensive detail. So again, that's not going to be for everyone is because like some of these blog, his second blog post I think is like a couple hours read. So this again is for the people who are skeptic and for the people who don't believe that this stuff exists or don't understand the science behind it because in many ways the stuff that Kevin and I are talking about are either from things that have, like I've said, been buried for hundreds of like over a hundred years or some of this stuff is does is not even written in textbooks yet. So a lot of this stuff is like new science and in many ways, yeah, Kevin is working towards changing our textbooks when it comes to engineering and science of the future. Like he is, he wants that. That's his goal. His goal for him is not to make YouTube videos forever. His, or even like me, my goal was always to help make these videos to try and help other people. His goal is really to go right to the source of it and try and help maybe change the face of science eventually someday down the line. We don't know that that'll happen, but that's everybody has their hopes and dreams and that's kind of one of his and his is really just to get out his ideas so if you want to see his blog post that's the easiest way to find him the other one is through the healing hands duo and like i said if you go to the blog section of our website you can check around the rest of our website because i'm going to talk about that shortly we've done a lot of updates to our website um which i hope now kind of explain what the machines do on there what we sell here in shop which is called shop on our website which is all the stuff that we sell in-house and then we have a section called our recommendations which is where i'm going to be posting to all of my or all of the practitioners that i believe have been able to help us over the years or have helped other people so I will be posting to that. I will be posting to all the non-toxic cosmetics that I use and personal hygiene products that I use because I really am, I'm starting to reach out to all the companies from all the stuff that I use and ask them if they're willing to give you guys discounts back. <laughs> And um, I'm also looking to for affiliations for with all these companies so that of course I could start to monetize both this channel and monetize our website. I never experienced electro medicine or light therapy or frequency therapies or ozone therapy 30 minutes is actually very long and the reason why i was getting i you know i completely get off topic on things sometimes but the reason why i was talking about the herxheimer reaction was specifically for this reason i've been seeing people are when you use our equipment and if you don't herx then you need to up it to the point where you do because what i've said in the past to kevin i mean kevin and i have said to each other that that's how we knew things were working for us when we would go through a light you know we choose to try and make people go through it very lightly and not to herx as badly as we did but i want people to understand that herxing could be for some very light and for others it could be very intense Uh, and then again, for others, I wouldn't say that there's many people that don't feel anything from using our equipment um, or not so far to my experience. Everybody has felt something. So I do like to pre-warn everybody of that up front because what happens with that and when you're going through like a Herxheimer reaction or a detox reaction, it's when you have various different pathogens dying within the body that create all of these toxins that are then released into the body or even when you're circulating things like heavy metals throughout the body if you don't get that stuff out by using the proper binders or sweating or you know physically removing it through the bowels then you can kind of hurt yourself which is why i'm always very cautious about the things that i tell people to do because kevin and i 
did hurt ourselves for for years with various different things i wouldn't say so much electro medicine um but using a lot of different herbs and stuff like that we did really bung up our lymphatic system which became a huge problem for us back in 2015 and 2016 which is why we went out looking and why kevin got on a plane to fly out and use the photon genius and i drove all the way to michigan to use it because we bunged up our lymphatic system and basically we started to get backed up and so i was scared that we were going to develop some type of sepsis so we started doing that because the machine also is one of the best that we have found out there to move the lymphatic system and i try to tell people how important it is to move the lymph when you're detoxing because if you're not moving the lymph this stuff is just staying stagnant in all your lymph nodes and it will make you very 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 sick so i always tell people like if you're gonna start to take a lot of herbals or do a lot of electro medicine or anything along those lines you need to find ways to not only cleanse all of the elimination organs which in this case is the bowels the kidney um and the liver of course uh, you need to find ways to constantly cleanse those things just to make sure that the toxins that you are drawing out of the tissues actually have a way to excrete themselves and they're not getting stuck because if you're having issues with your liver then most likely if you pull toxins and your liver is all clogged it's going to get stuck in the liver and i'm pretty sure i did that for years and have plenty of liver issues um, the other thing is of course the skin is another one too sweating you want to sweat this stuff out sweat out your toxins it's a great way to do that and that's another reason why we advocate for our machine because it's not only a frequency device a sound like it not only delivers sound harmonics ozone light therapy um, are the two machines combined that is um, ozone it also is the only device that we are aware of that promotes the type of heat that it gives off again ours is a it's a what our <laughs> Our sauna is actually classified as an energy sauna because that's what it does. It increases the energy. It actually increases the energy and stabilizes the immune system so that your immune system can do what it's best at doing, which is to go in and fight off various different things, whether it be pathogens or infections or cancers or different things or whatever. Again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not supposed to say that any of this stuff can help with any of those things. This is all hearsay, and this has been my experience with it, and this is what I've seen with some of my clients, that it is very good at doing that, but you have to be committed to using the device on a regular basis. Like I have people that will come and expect you know a ton of things to happen after your very first session and that's not how it works with cleansing the body it's a continual thing like i always find that if you're struggling with something very severe it's better to get into the machine say like 10 to 15 minutes a day for every day until you start seeing a difference and then to back it off um, to doing it like once or twice a week once you've found a place they actually recommend that you continue doing that for two months after all of your symptoms have subsided and then your regular protocol for maintenance would be to come and use it once a week. So, and Kevin and I offer, are willing to work with people and willing, if you need to come and use it that often, we're willing to offer and work with people on coming up with package deals if somebody needs to use it that often. But I see people who expect a lot to happen within the first one or two sessions. And to be honest, a lot does happen, but what ends up happening is in the first one to three sessions, people end up end up going and getting Herxheimer reactions in which case I have a whole page on my website that talks about Herxheimer reactions and what you can expect and like that could be anywhere from like you know fevers and chills I actually even wrote down what they even said on the internet they were saying here that in a Herxheimer reaction what is expected is fever chills malaysia headaches tachycardia hyper um hyperventilation this these are like severe obviously um flushing a mild hypotensive one to two and, and this is usually they say this happens after doing any type of antimicrobial agent or like penicillin after one to two out this and this will happen in the first one to two hours i would go even further as to say that um it's not just one to two hours and again you have to imagine that the machine is balancing out the immune system so then your body will fight off of off fight off um, bacteria and parasites and um, various other pollutants within the body so you are potentially opening yourself up to going through a, a Herxheimer reaction or a detoxification reaction or what some people call retracing
retracing what that means that is if you've ever had an issue in the past then what you should expect when you're truly cleansing the body especially with electromedicine is that those things will come up again so for instance if you broke if you had a knee issue years ago and your knee seemed to be fine now your knee will probably start hurting again as your body remembers that your body remembers that injury and starts to repair that knee at a deep cellular level so i have people come in here and say oh you know the machine made me feel terrible my whole body is aching now and you know it's weird because like i had this problem with like say my kidney or my liver many 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 years ago but now all of a sudden that's hurting again and i think a lot of that is because the machine, like I said, wants to go and repair parts of your body at a deep cellular level, not really masking issues. A lot of people who have dealt with issues in the past, myself included, we kind of mask, maybe mask things up with like, you know, antibiotics or we, ma we mask things up with like a surgery or we masked things over with like certain types of prescription drugs. That doesn't really get rid of the underlying issue. What that really does is it masks it it masks it and the memory even if you had a surgery surgery for instance there's a whole bunch of information out there now about there being the memory imprinted into the dna of your body that remembers what it is that you had back then so it's almost like the machine brings this all to the forefront another weird thing that i've had with people is people having complete what almost sometimes seems like an emotional breakthrough. I've literally had two people come out and then within the next couple of days after being exposed to frequency medicine or electro, sorry, at, uh, after being exposed to scalar waves or um, electromedicine, literally break down and have like an emotional breakthrough where they were just crying and they didn't understand what was happening. And that's quite normal as well as the body starts to remember all of these different things as you go through and sometimes it could be on a deep um a deep level that you're not even conscious or aware of and you won't even know like i was just talking to somebody the other day that after um uh, being introduced to scalar she just did start crying she's like i didn't even know i don't even know what's happening and i just tell people all the time that once you are liberated from all of these harmful frequencies around us and again when you start to liberate yourself of all these frequencies and all the potential for subliminal messages that are placed on these frequencies and i there i have proof that there are uh, that there is information on these frequencies because i had another lady who actually sent a good friend of mine actually who sent me a video of her testing her outlets because she was buying some um she was buying some electrical outlet filters I think she, the ones that she bought was Green Wave. The ones that we recommend is Stetsurizer, but Green Wave is just as good. So you can e purchase either or. Um, but she was testing it and it was really weird, but she was getting radio frequencies off of her, her outlets. Like she could hear a man talking. And again, it wasn't, it, it sounded like she was picking up maybe like a local, like a local radio network or something like that. So it wasn't anything. But you can only imagine if you have all these frequencies around you all the time, while you're sleeping while you're awake and like literally you know we are only in tune to the five senses unfortunately where if we can't see it touch it taste it hear it feel it we just think that those things don't exist but that isn't necessarily the case that's why you have people with a sixth sense people who are psychic people who have intuition empath um people who feel empathy or people who are empaths who can feel other people's emotions i would say that this is not at all what that is but you some people are able to feel these things and see these things or hear them without it physically being available to everyone but if you can imagine you have these radio frequencies that are constantly broadcasting these messages so say for instance the local um, radio show is broadcasting something constantly like a commercial about i don't know like kellogg's or some type of cereal or something eventually if you were to hear that you are getting sleepy very very sleepy you are getting sleepy very very sleepy constantly oh, the idea is that in our psychosis that if you were to hear something constantly over and over and over and over again that puts information into your subconscious mind so then eventually you'll be like oh i want to go to the store and get some kellogg's whatever Kellogg, i don't even eat cereal but kellogg's rice krispie squares or you know something along those lines you know what i mean so that's kind of how i see it like i feel people are liberated when they start blocking 
or start um, creating scalar waves that are more in tune with nature because what you're going to feel is the natural frequencies of nature and you're going to be eliminating all this stuff from your body and that is very for some that is very um, overwhelming and emotional because you're getting this clear connection back to what i believe is source energy and from there when you're connected back to source energy you can have a closer connection directly back to god and i know this is getting really deep but that's really the premise of it when you can clear the mind totally which i is why i'm a big proponent for using meditation but if your body is still surrounded by all these frequencies that are being bombarded through you know your cell phones and wi-fi that you got going on in your house and the dirty electricity that's riding your your outlets in your house or you got all this information that's being put into your eyeballs through blue light toxicity it's going to whether you meditate or any of these things which is a great way to get the mind into a um an inner space which is great it's still going to be difficult to do that when you're in an environment that is really technically physically and technically mystically very very noisy so this is why another reason why i am a huge proponent of things that clear all of that for you and why people tend to get emotional when they use our equipment